Theories of mineral evolution are an approach to understanding Earth's changing near-surface geochemistry. They posit that Earth's near-surface mineral diversity gradually increased through an array of chemical and biological processes. All naturally occurring chemical elements were present from the start of our solar system. A dozen different species of minerals in interstellar dust particles that form the solar system evolved through novel combinations of elements to perhaps no more than 500 different species in the first billion years, then to more than 4,500 species today. Previous work from Carnegie's Bob Hazen demonstrated that up to two-thirds of the known types of minerals on Earth can be directly or indirectly linked to biological activity. Now Hazen has turned his focus specifically on minerals containing the element mercury and their evolution on our planet as a result of geological and biological activity. Although as much as 50% of the mercury that contributed to Earth's accretion was lost to volatile chemical processing, 4.5 billion years of mineral evolution has led to at least 90 different mercury-containing minerals now found on Earth. They found that of the 60 mercury-containing minerals that first appeared on Earth between 2.8 billion and 65 million years ago, 50 were created during three periods of supercontinent assembly. Their analysis suggests that the evolution of new mercury-containing minerals followed periods of continental collision and mineralization associated with mountain formation over the last three billion years. However, in one striking exception, the billion-year interval that included the assembly of the Rodinian supercontinent approximately 1.8 to 0.8 billion years ago saw no mercury mineralization anywhere on Earth. Hazen and his colleagues speculate that this hiatus could have been due to a sulfide-rich ocean, which quickly reacted with any available mercury and thus prevented it from interacting chemically with other elements. The role of biology is also critical in understanding the mineral evolution of mercury. Although mercury is rarely directly involved in biological processes, its interactions with oxygen came about because of the appearance of the photosynthetic process, which plants and certain bacteria use to convert sunlight into chemical energy. Future work will correlate specific mineral occurrences to specific tectonic events, focus on the minerals of other elements to see how they differ and correlate with mercury's mineral evolution, and develop new strategies for locating undiscovered deposits of resources. The research was published in the journal American Mineralogist. The Carnegie Institution has had over 110 years of extraordinary discoveries. To continue this tradition, Carnegie scientists need your support. For more information about this and other cool science, visit our website at carnegiescience.edu. This is John Strom.